episode 13, part 2, is all to do with the crack repair I did on Toucan in 2023. Um, that particular job started as a small crack up in Coomera Boatworks, um, just shortly after I bought the, the boat, and we repaired it successfully, but, but the problem was it didn't get into the underlying problems quick enough. I was too slow with it basically and it so the problem that caused the crack was still there and it extended further and um, the video shows how much further and I've um, addressed the underlying problems now we're gonna we straighten the shaft the propeller shaft we um, adjusted the engine alignment replaced the cutlass bearings and it seems like this these these are the problems that would have caused the vibration causing the hull to crack so yeah just watch the the next video and then after that we're going to continue on with it. um part three will be cutlass bearings and part four will be pss seals all right see you later yeah the recurring Reoccurring crack on the engine cradle. It actually cracked through the patch we put on and extended another 25 mil, which is absolutely shit. Let me show you. It's cracked. That was probably the original crack. It's gone right through there, up to there. I haven't taken it back yet, but it's gone right up to here. So it's cracked, basically. You can see it there. There's a there's the bottom and the inside. There's an engine mount runs along there, basically. Or the engine bed. That's the bottom of one of the brackets. And it's cracked and it's worked its way right up to here. So I've made a repair for that. And the bender out, a pretty prehistoric looking bender with a, my car jack and a you know, wedge shaped piece of steel pressing down on it and made a curve for there and I'll, I'll just go and have a look at that piece of engineering. It's sort of ready to go. You've got to get a hot work permit which I have now with it. just it's a legal bit of garb but where is it? Just here. That tells you all the bits and pieces that you have to do, and if you don't don't do them, and something goes wrong, you're in the poo poos. So that's the piece of 5083 alley that I bought, four mil. It's as tough as rocking horse shit. This stuff. It's very very good. So uh, this is the patch. You can see the crack actually runs in here. So I've got all these rosettes to try and put some, not too much, but all in different directions too, so that they don't follow the grain in any way. So, and I'll put a bend in it. If you can see the curve in that, I'll put a bend in it with a, well, that's another job done, but I won't do that till I won't do that till tomorrow because tomorrow is when my dad will be here, and I need an observer to observe from inside. So, and the only other thing that will pull me up is the wind. It's got to be bugger all wind, otherwise, or I have to make a big shroud to keep all the argon gas around the weld. Anyway, I suppose we're getting there. It's going to be horribly expensive, this all out. So, I'll just keep trying not to think about it. All right, hey, Rick. Yeah, I'm just going to show you the, the patch we've made for the crack, the second time crack. The patch is a lot bigger. Last time it was about this big, the 100 by 100, 
and now we've sort of gone 300 by 300. Um, it's all been welded underneath. We've got rosette welds going through. Um, had a bit of trouble because the water jacket for the engine heat transfer or heat exchanger is on the other side. I, I didn't realise and I couldn't weld this bit down in. I just couldn't get the heat into it. So once I took that water out, the cooling out, plus the bilge was full up to here with, um, with water from the leak. Just a bit sloppy on my own behalf. Um, I've now just acid treated that and I'm going to undercoat it and that'll be a good thing to get done today. Infamous aluminium repair. I've had the heater on, I've had the heater on it to get some heat into it. it it's sort of gone hard. It's gonna have the whole weekend to go off, so I'm gonna then shave that back minimally. And then I'm just gonna put high build primer on it, probably a couple of coats or whatever it takes. Yeah, just a quick little end to the, the crack video. Um, it's all finished up now. It's been um, sanded back and the the um, and finished off with antifoul. Um, and now we're on the next next video part three is to do with the more interesting part of work um, solving the reason why the hole cracked, and that's to do with straighten the, sh the prop shaft and the cutlass bearings, replacing them and re-aligning um, the engine um, with the prop shaft. So yeah, next um, part three to come. See ya.